Here's a picture of Jean Cernan on the moon taken by Harrison Schmidt. You can see Schmidt reflected here in Cernan's visor. This picture is famous amongst conspiracy theorists because it looks like Schmidt is not wearing his backpack. That sounds like bad news because without it he wouldn't have lived long enough to take this picture. It looks like he's facing this direction and the missing backpack should appear here. But there is something weird going on. While he's not wearing a backpack, his shadow is wearing one. There's something else too. The camera strapped to his chest seems to be pointing in completely the wrong direction. He should be almost facing us with his camera pointing slightly to our right. The only way to make sense of this is if he's facing this way and the right hand part of his body, remember this is a mirror image, has somehow become invisible. That sounds ridiculous but is in fact not far off what's happened. So how can the right hand third of an astronaut just disappear? Here's how. Let's start with this well-known picture of Buzz Aldrin. We convert it to black and white, resample it, make it a bit darker, flip it left right and we end up with something that's comparable in quality and resolution with the image of Schmidt. We can then paste it onto the original image like this then we can save the whole thing as a JPEG image and then reopen it and see what's happened. The reason for doing this is the original image was a JPEG compressed image and that means it's lost some detail. And here's the result. Aldrin's arm has become almost invisible against the lunar background. The real reason for this is because the white spacesuit lit up by moonlight comes out about the same colour as the moon itself. If Aldrin's arm looks clear enough to you, the main reason for that is because you can see his glove and your mind fills in the rest of the arm. If we remove the glove, the whole arm becomes that much more difficult to see. Now you might say, yes, but I can still see it clearly enough, and you can, but you can see Schmidt's arm just as clearly. If we show again the orientation that he must have had, you can see that it fits. So there's our explanation. He is in the right orientation, but a combination of poor image quality and the fact that his suit is about the same brightness as the moon behind makes it hard to tell which bits are him and which bits are the moon, and this creates the illusion that he's facing a different direction. So nice try, moon hoax believers, but you still lose. Better luck next time.